Astro Monday. Let's find out what's going on this week in your astrology. There are weird things happening and I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling like I just don't want to do anything and all kinds of weirdness. It's like I woke up and it's in a different world. <laughs> Write down what your intentions are for uh, for today. Looking forward to having Chris Witecki here. This is going to be a fantastic Astro Monday. We're going to be going through everything that's happened throughout the course of this week and what's happening coming into next week. So what you need to be focused on. Waiting for our sunset to serious joy, Mr. Chris Witecki, to come on up here. Here we go. Let's go live. <clears throat> Much better energy today. Being in bed, it was my intention. Hey, Chris. Hey, buddy. Good to so, see you, man. Good to see you, man. I'm I'm feeling it today. I know about oh, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling it today too. I mean, every, feels like the new year is racing ahead. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. That, that's what I was saying. It was like it was like uh, I've I've been I've been projecting that this Monday was going to be this kind of weird shift. This uh, waking up like it feels like you're in a different planet, and that's what it feels like. It, doesn't feel like anything around me is happening the way it used to. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a new timeline also. Um, now, I just wrapped up the, my countdown. Like, so I, I just got off quite a roller coaster. So <laughs> I literally have shifted, you know, in that regard. But um, yeah, it does feel it's a new year. It's a new era. We can you can feel it. Yeah, yeah, it does. It feels like that. It really does. And uh, we, you know, our, our global reset is starting today, which is the first day, which we didn't really intend. But it, but it really, but it, it's a fitting day. Perfect. And, uh, Perfect day. And I've, I've had it to nap twice today. Oh, that's interesting. I've had some, I, I have been sleepy as hell yeah. <laughs> myself. Yeah. I didn't want to get up. Like I was just, I had to force myself up today. So I feel that the moon's in Pisces too. So we're ethereal. Yeah. I think we're emotionally shifting our spiritual timeline mm -hmm. is what's happening today. Like today's really a day of, you know, today's a net six day the moon in Pisces. So our heart is open, our spirit is open. And so there's like a kind of a vulnerability to the other realms today. Well, we also hit, didn't we hit net seven at like nine or something like that today? Nine, nine, we nine. did. Yeah. yeah. It happened in our staff meeting. So we, we felt it. You felt staff, it like right when it switched over. We yeah. really, really did. Yeah. And things got really serious all of a sudden, like I'll, everyone got very open and frank actually. <laughs> Which was like, so I had a lot of conversations I wasn't planning on having just yet. Oh, interesting. Not a bad thing, but just like, okay, let's, since you brought it up, why don't we go ahead and talk about this, that kind of thing. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we, um, you know, we go in and out because we live in this 28 day uh, reset. Like our, that, that's our lives, literally. So we've been out of it for, um, as a team, we've been out of it for about uh, four months or something like that um, since Vancouver. And and uh, so we started again this morning. We just all got up and said, "Yeah, let's go to the water. Let's do it again." And what's really cool is that is that we do we set it up in the morning, so we do our reset in the morning with all of us, and then adjust. The day just seems to go, and oh, things happen. And it, it's like there's less energy to get the to get the work done. Oh, that's great. That's good to know. You know, many of our team are going to be jumping on this too. We're a little behind, but we're but, but no, not behind. You know. We can start every two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For us, we want to be quicker than this, but we had just a lot of more organizing to do. Yeah. But you you finished your whole year forecast yesterday. Yeah. And then the company too was covering for me because I was on vacation. So like we just now finally got our shift back together. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Because so we're I, back I, together. So I heard you in the uh, I heard you yesterday saying, well, March ninth. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, May nineteenth, eighteenth, nineteenth is a. Uh, is a real is the day where you're like that's the launch day that's when everything is kind of move, moving forward i think that's the final launch um as far as the final planting of the seeds of what's going to happen uh we are in planning for an event and i'll tell you about it it hasn't really complete, completely crystallized by the way so i got your message earlier today i'll tell you more about that yeah. um uh, yeah, I think so. Timeline wise, it's sort of like you break ground on the eclipse on April 8th. Um, you make your first move on my birthday, step 18 Taurus, which is actually May 7th. And then May 18th, you want to be all right. in. 
And that's to take advantage of the winds, let's say the conscious solar winds. Now, when I say all in, I'm talking about what I call a diamond egg project, like, you know, the story of your life. This is planting seeds to something you will do for the rest of your life. Yeah. I, most I feel that. likely. Yeah. I feel most that. likely. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Which means it's not going to like, it might just boop, just be a sprout by the end of the year as far as expectation of growth is concerned. Because I do feel like we'll be heavily thwarted from September to November. Tons of static, tons of noise. Yeah. Really like very consciously, I think there's going to be a huge grab for power. Um, I think we're going to be on our defense. We're going to be on defense instead of offense from September. So what I was advising in the countdown and to everyone here is like, get your project on a course by May 18th. Get it on course. Yeah. And, and you know, and I took that to heart. That's why I like uh, listening to your annual forecast. People can still get that, yep. right? If they wanted to. It's still available. SenseiChristopher.com. It's still available. It's live. I mean, you can watch it immediately now. And I also give you my slideshow. You can download my slideshow, my deck, and you can download the AI transcripts. Yeah, because it it gives you it gives a good kind of framework of what's to happen. That's what I love about your annual is that is that I'm I'm trying to get my head where I'm going to be this year. Me and too. I, and I and I live I live in this uh, thirty day windows right now where we don't plan very much further than 30 days except for like we know we're going to do four three to four events in the united states uh up until you know up, up until um may basically up until may so sometime between end of march and may and we're looking for partners to do it with but outside that I, we haven't set where we, i mean we we think it's la uh, austin new york and somewhere in florida oh but we haven't yeah we should talk actually because um well, yeah let's talk later today if you have it you have the band yeah yeah for sure sure yeah because we we um we like in la we would be like five to seven thousand people and um but if we pull somebody else in we might be able to push it over the edge and get like ten thousand twelve thousand people there that'd be great that'd be that'd be a lot of fun um i'll tell you what we're doing on the 18th it's not a big in person it's more of a telecast yeah with a live stu with a live studio audience of people who paid, so it's um, so it's going to oh, be more cool. of a show. So it's like a showcase. So the people who are buying tickets and showing up are a limited number, and we think we'll sell out instantly. Like we don't think it's not even for the attendance because to do something really big like that takes a lot of capital investment. So we're going to just create we're going to create the event and set it like, hey, this is going to be every year marking your calendars. But I do want to talk to you about. Yeah, well about about well, I think you should show up it. at one one or one or some of these. Yeah, you should. Well, vice yeah, versa. Yeah. right? you're saying yeah, 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 for yeah sure. vice versa. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. that's the only thing I am, you know, committed to at the moment. But my big download this year was I have to travel all year. Like I'm. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to get a like a full time place where I'm at with my family right now, just because it would be a waste of money. Like. Yeah, that's what uh, we're doing. We're we're, we're yeah. like we're we're the whole year is travel. We're just getting our feet wet right now. Yeah, and I'm wondering if we should be traveling in September when shift hits a fan. And I don't know, but uh, we'll see. It feels like well, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be in the United States. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't, <laughs> yeah. don't want to be yeah, in the United it's... States, and I don't particularly want to be in Canada at all it's, either. So it's gonna be uncomfortable. I have a feeling. Yeah. You know? So so what what is that? You know, like when you when you say that, like when we say that, like, what is that? What do you think that means? I mean, we've been talking about this for a long time. It. It, and it also, one thing I want to uh, couch it with is that it, it feels like all this stuff's going to happen. Some people are just going to go wing all the way through it. And there's no, and there's like no flack at all. And other people are going to feel like they are being run over by a Mack truck twice. Yeah. I do think it comes down to levels and where you are in your vibration. So I think that most of the people who follow you and follow me are going to be energetic leaders in that moment whether they realize it or not so those of you been doing the reset and facing all your shift it's because you're a leader you're, you're way ahead of the curve like um and you were meant to be like there has to be people who've been thinking about this for a long time and who know exactly where they want the country to go know exactly where they want the earth to go are very clear about where they want to go then there's a whole bunch of people who are clueless and used to following other people and so that's where I think the stat static and the mayhem is going to be, is that people who don't think about these things all day like we do and do podcasts all the time about it are going to suddenly feel very overwhelmed, um, I think, starting in September. So was it literally? 
my gut is like some, you know, I, I can feel psychically a dirty trick. I don't know what it is, but there's a dirty trick coming, mm-hmm. you know, um, and I think it, it feels like it happens right after the Republican or the is it Democrat that does August or Republican. But I think right after right in August, it looks like the mayhem starts to stir up, but we're not well, quite sure what, what we're doing. All of the lock- lockdowns uh, happened over the last three years. All of the the, tr- the restrictions happened in Virgo. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one thing we noticed. It was like, you got, you got freedom in the summer. It's like, Hey, things are going to be better. And then wham, come Virgo. It's like, Nope, sorry. And that's not the way it is. Yeah. I, it definitely feels like it, you know, shift, shift starts, something goes really wonky. I mean, there's a, it's real slow, but we're not quite sure what the danger is in August. So August is like something feels off, but I'm not sure what it is. Then around September 2nd, when Pluto goes back to 29 Capricorn, I think some sort of, I think this is the biggest play for power in world history, frankly, like over this presidency. And what's interesting is it's like, um, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not taking any side here, just for the record. I'm not taking any side. I'm on the side of love and unity. And I don't see any candidate, frankly, that speaks to those. (laughs) Okay. For the record. It's like, there is no candidate up there that I, that is on my page. It's a matter of getting to where we want to be. Um, but it seems very clear that there's a fear that there's so much fear that Trump will will run and win. Um, there it must be it must, it's going to probably be a fair election. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Don't say that. <laughs> fair yeah, election. It looks, it looks like you know, it, in like, Canada, <laughs> in Canada, they stalled the election. We can't do it because of COVID, and then all this, and then the next thing you know, uh, then they pull this last minute election. They only had three million people vote in all of Canada. Only three million wow. in all of Canada, and they got they got election through with three million people. And it was and I, I I remember the polling stations. It was all like literally old people. It was like there was no there was not one young person that I saw vote. And and it was uh, all done at the last minute and a lot of collusion. I I see lots of that coming for sure. I see that coming. I think there's a lot of game plans on how to game the system. But I do think. Someone, you know, texted RFK. I do think RFK is the magic uh, anomaly that no one planned for. Right. So so I think it goes into true chaos is my point. Like, because I think uh, I think RFK, I'm not, again, I'm not taking any sides, but I think he will end up on the debate stage. I think he will be bringing some truths that both party, both members aren't ready for. Yeah. And I think it's going to be a wild card. It's going to be a real wild card, and because it's going to be a real wild card, the, the country is going to be in chaos. Those who want to claim power will probably do some overreaching things out of fear of the wild card. Yeah, I think you know. I think, I think this is where the this is where you we've been saying for a long time the people though go uh uh-uh, uh anymore. And, and by the way, wait, there there's I don't see any candidate bringing this back into. I don't see one candidate bringing this back into anything other than more of the same different version. But there's there's definitely going to be a wild card out there, something, and something that we haven't thought about. I mean, um, uh, and since we talked last week, we've had all the aliens in Miami and all that. <laughs> what was that? That's about? so fascinating. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was one or two things from what I feel. Since you and I are become don't go in this rabbit hole, either we had uh, aliens from another dimension blink into a mall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And start shopping at JC Penny, or or we had a uh, what's the hologram. word? Um, an illusion that we, failed. Hologram. That failed. The hologram that failed. Yeah, one yeah. of the two. It was either hologram, but there was no question. Homeland Security was there, erase taking pic, you know, deleting pictures off of phones. There's no question. An over response by the police. The airport shut down. These are all proven, you know, verifiable. So. Are you know, and 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 even if like even if there was another part like a secret, going back to X Files, you remember yeah. X Files, the series like Muller and Scully, like the ones fucking with the people. Part of my French was like a group of old men in a room. It wasn't even a the government. Like yeah, you know, in in that story, it was like a group of old men who had their own agenda, who all owned corporations and stuff. It's quite possible that whatever this level is through the holograms and they didn't tell the police force. So maybe the police force reacted as if it was real. So I don't think the top was talking to the bottom per se, if that was the case. Yeah. I find it hard to believe that if aliens can make it to this uh, planet, that they would have a problem staying here, like blinking in and out. It feels like they'd have that tech down by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's funny. It's like, 
it's like uh let's let's write let's do a u.s let's do legislation about aliens i'm like yeah like how does that even make sense are they talking about legislation i'm out of the loop like i don't listen to standard no, media it's, very much it's, but it's it's bizarre it's uh it's it's like uh it's like the audacity of the united states when they said uh, back you know four years ago uh five years ago let's let's put a legislation in to stop china from manipulating their dollar and i'm like you guys think you're we're gonna stop China from manipulating their dollar. Like, like how are we gonna do? Yeah, that like how, how, like, how exactly in in God's green earth is that going to happen? But yeah, I feel, um, I I, I feel like like we've been building for this for a long time. Um, yeah. I feel like like now it's the time when the gloves come off. Um, but I every everything tells me that nothing touches us. You know that that agreed. That, yeah. Much to the, you know, much to the disappointment of many. <laughs> um, I, I and here's what I believe now. So as far as my game plan is concerned, I feel like you flood the planet with light. I think, you know, wh where I'm leading uh, my constituents uh, is that hey, we put out your project, manifest yeah. your goals, get get healthy in your body, right. like take away, take away the power to control you, take that yeah. away, you know, like. And the more of that momentum happens, it's a matter of just energetic, you know, cap, you know, numbers. Like once you flood the planet with a lot of joy or happiness or good ideas. And, and I do think there's going to be, it looks like looking at Uranus, it does look like there's some sort of major technological breakthrough, whether we'll know about it or not. I don't know if we'll know yeah, about because it, but like perhaps. This is, this is the same kind of energy with Uranus right now. It's the same kind of energy that like uh, that we made uh, jet planes and nuclear bombs and stuff. The up, Manhattan right? Project. This is the same energy as the Manhattan Project, which ironically was like the number one film no. last year, oh. right, Was <laughs> which was Oppenheimer. So I find it fascinating or fascinating that Oppenheimer becomes the lead film right when Uranus gets right back to the place it was during Oppenheimer. That's, oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So it's like we're revisiting in our consciousness the last time we were here. And now I think the atom bomb is probably AGI. It's probably, you know, general intelligence um, could be could be the, the biggest threat I see potentially that could go right or wrong. But 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 it also could be something that slips through like free energy or or we release the how to hover. You know how many free energy devices I've been tracking. I've been tracking a couple hundred that are commercially available right now. And free energy devices. I mean, right down from this, this one that looks like a, yeah, pull it, uh, looks just like a generator. Um, and they put the, and they, here, here's the device, you can buy it and here's the blueprints you can make it. Wow. And, and then the other one, um, uh, which you're, which you're seeing is spinning mercury, which we used to have in the roofs. So there's spin mercury on top of a voltage meter and it uh, creates a wireless electricity. Okay, so it's possible. You have some sort of invention like that that gets out of the bag and you have an uncontrollable revolution of power, well, that, literally. I mean, they're out yeah. of the bag right now. They are, they, they, they are, but it's, what I found is that since 2016, I've been tracking this phenomena of an idea comes in. How does it come in? Well, it comes in in the conspiracy side. So it ends up on TikTok. And that's really conspiracy. And then, and then over the course of nine months, it makes itself bleeds into Instagram and then bleeds. And then by the ninth month to the uh, 11th month, it starts showing on some major mainstream talk show or somebody brings it up or something like that. And then it takes one more year for it to be fully in. And, and this is with every, conspiracy, you know, like that's far out. And then all of a sudden it's accepted. It's far out. It's accepted. And it's this, this, this slow draw. And it seems to have slowed down because it seems like people are slower. And I would say that's from, you know, current medical procedures. Mm. People are slower to adopt. People are just or... slower. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, ask, fluoride ask, and all go sorts to a store things. and ask for change, not like ask for change and just see what happens and how much people glitch when you go out of the normal routine, yeah. out of the pattern habit routine, yeah. ask for something out of the norm. And it's like, I don't know what to do right. here. You ask for right. change. Like what's change? Oh, change. I blame, I blame fluoride, 5g. I blame, you know, uh, Oh yeah. You know, 
glyphosate. I, I think that that's a drug state that we've been putting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Personally. 100%. Yeah. Human and race we're hitting, isn't, we're people. Human race isn't getting dumber. The human race is being drugged. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I mean, that's that's our belief that we talk about every day. Um, and. And, and the way out of it is that we found our, my personal way out of it was the was the was what's now the 28 day reset, yeah. because I, I, I believe that there's nothing that you can put in the human body that can hurt the human body when the human body is functioning correctly. And because yeah. this, this is the most perfect divine vehicle. We are spirit. This is the perfect vehicle. There's nothing on the planet that supersedes us. We are no. the we are the most perfect dimension. So we. So we have to be in a dumbed down, controlled, programmed state in order for us to be hurt, and and that's mentally too. And this is this is what's going on. And as we've been watching people come out of this, they're like, you know what I love to see? We have this parents helping children group, and there's a couple hundred parents with kids that were, you know, cancers, autistic, spectrum disorders, like just cases that the medical system has gone no way. I can't even do anything more. And nonverbal, non-motion, stuff like this. And these kids, all of them are getting better. And we're wow. taking that program and launching it live on in our platform here shortly. Like it, it's a, it's going into beta test on the platform. But we have a group of parents that are administering these belief systems with their children, uh, remineralizing, getting the inflammation out, cleaning up the gut, and moving the fascia. And even when they can't move, the parents do it for them. And kids are moving. Walking and talking that weren't walking and talking before, and that's that's what I that's what I that's what I love because there is you can't you there's no you can't make that up. The kids are there. They're innocent. Um, they're not they're not acting or reacting in any way. They're just being, and mm-hmm. they're being better. They have no agenda. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, brilliant. I had a guest on my Astro Mingle last Friday, Alicia Powers, who is a high level psychic. Like when I say high level, I mean, she's only talking her way up there. Yeah. Um, which you have to talk to her to be convinced of that, you know, and she's actually very modest. She admitted more after the show than she did on the show, frankly. But one thing that she thought was what I thought I walked away from was, first of all, she was, she's a healer. And what she does is she invites these higher beings down in to heal you, but, um, and work with you. But what I walked away from is, there is nothing that cannot be healed in the body, period. The body can be healed from absolutely everything. That anything was and everything. Yeah. And, and if anything, it's like, how, how arrogant are you humans to think you can mess up a creation yeah. on this level? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> they look at us like, oh, silly human. You think fluoride's going to stop creation? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we created fluoride. <laughs> <laughs> Like so, there was like a very, which was very relief. I had a huge relief. Like, thank God. And the other message that she brought was fascinating. Is like, if if it goes too far, they'll they'll yeah. step in. The, I believe the, that. That the human that. race is the human race is a is a very special race. It's a conglomerate of many DNAs of a lot of aliens. It's it's on the fringe of the Milky Way for a reason. It's out of touch to a lot of the traffic apparently. Like. You're not messing with God's one of God's prototypes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> and everything can in fact be healed and restored. Period. End of story. Yeah, and and the the other side of that is there is no there's nothing to be healed technically. The body it, we say it's broken but it, it's still walking, talking, breathing, which is the miracle of life despite all the crap that we do to it. So yeah. we don't need to be healed, we just need to listen to what it's freaking saying. And that was the what in my own personal journey is, you know, I thought I had a pretty good relationship with my body, like, you know, five years ago, six years ago, not even close, like, like, like the, the inner standing or the, the inner confidence. And, and the other part too is, you know, like, you know, what is psychic? Psychic is a field around us that we have access to. We all have the same yeah. field. Psychic yeah. is just the ability to draw it in. And what I found is everybody becomes psychic when they, when they're crystal, their fascia is clear. Yeah. Yes. Um, and, uh, and what she had said, Alicia Powers was she was calling, she didn't call it sickness. She called it corrupt program. That's bad software. There you go. She says That's it was my whole bad. Thing. We're, she, she says we're running bad software. Yeah. And that, and, like, and listen, that's, that's, I, that's all I talk about all day long. We're a fluid adapted biological computing system. Yeah. The, there's a, there's a dude in, um, Auschwitz, a doctor. And I, I remember it's my mom pounded this into my head when I was young. 
because she followed this guy and he would chew every every morsel of food a hundred times and he they tried to starve him he wouldn't starve and anyways they were liberated he got out he wrote a book about it and and you know like going on i know that was true i know the story i've heard all the reports i know that when you chew your food a lot more you get better but then i was i was thinking about it from a practical perspective there ain't any more nutrients in that food whether you chew it uh, 20 times or 100 times there's no more that comes there's only an x amount that it can signal to your body so then the only thing that's left beyond that is belief and we're in the third dimension we which is jupiter number three and it's all about belief it's the stomach it's all about belief and that's where the corrupt pro programming is because the programming is not so much what what's chemically happening to our body it's the narratives that we tell ourselves are uh, and the way that we describe our world if i if i describe my world as fearful it's like a really famous case a guy was caught in a refrigerator cart and um and uh in a train he got locked in and he anyways he ended up dying he wrote on his thing <clears throat> he wrote all this stuff down he says i'm gonna get cold i'm getting cold i'm gonna die and all this they at the end of it when they when they went in there the refrigeration had never been turned on his belief was so, so powerful and this is a documented case wow. belief was so powerful that he was going to die out of freezing that he froze to death you know i'm glad you brought that up because you just triggered you just made me realize what's going to happen as far as static when jupiter goes into gemini um belief will become fluid because jupiter's in its detrimental side sign what do you the opposite mean side. by fluid i mean that it creates <clears throat> a liquidity <clears throat> in people's abil ability to change belief structures right so, so uh because the because the converse because the conversation gemini will be uh bombarded with jupiter's uh energy right so our okay. mind gets and i feel like what i think i feel i i feel is a play it's really a race for the narrative is what happens that a hundred percent this is a war on narrative yes yeah, the last world wars were fought with people and guns this is all on on perception Yes, it is. And I believe it's because every human is the battery that keeps reality going. Every human is a nodal point to this reality. Correct. So the only way to hijack the reality is to hijack the belief structure of the masses. And if yep. they all believe the refrigerator is cold, they'll freeze yep. to death. <clears throat> yeah, we that's that's a fundamental part of our program is that, you know, we've been on this narrative, as you know, to watch is that we're getting people, even the practitioners now to start saying the body heals itself. You know, because that was taken that, you know, there's this belief that the body heals itself. But then then we get a diagnosis and we run to a doctor and we radiate right. or right. Yes. Or, or or we go and we drill. And that's why I'm that's why I'm hanging out with my teeth. I, I know that they're going to I know that they're going to transform. So. Right. Yeah. But but people are like they're so quick to jump and like not trust. And that reinforces the narrative that we were programmed. Right. With. And so we're getting everybody to say at once. You know the body heals itself and then what the way we're personally doing is getting younger like literally getting younger on and we've got we've been doing this for two three years four years now we have it on film we have every moment on film that's wonderful that you're documenting it so i i so i feel like it's going to be a uh there's going to be a lot of noise and hard to find the signal um and i think quiet will overpower loud ironically quiet will because which is which is what Washington did. If you study Washington, he never he never entangled in the debates. He let the forefathers all fight it out until finally they were at no impasse. And they're like, well, what do you think, George? <laughs> because he had not spoken up. He, he saw the power of quiet in the noise. Uh, so I think to some degree, um, it's sort of a, a reverse of the polarity of what we're used to. I like that. But it's going to be an attempt, attempt to hijack the narrative is what's going to, I think, I mean, we've already have these competing narratives. Yeah, now, I mean, it, that's why it, you're seeing um, like the T-Mobile uh, has changed. Like there's there's Google just changed their. Uh, yeah, there came out the new policy, the email right? policy. I, know, I, I got it. I got yeah. it. Notified, notified today. So the big distributors of information are already changing their policies to control information in 2024. And that is an attempt to control the narrative, which is an attempt to control belief structure, I believe. So what, that's why, you know, like, um, that's why we've been moving everything to our website, you know, all the conversation onto our website, all the information, like people, 
you know, all over the place, DM us for help and in Instagram. And we help them. We have a team of people and we have AI that's been watching my messages for, for a year that knows how to answer the way we answer and knows, knows how, what our belief system is. And we have a team of people that, that garden that or like dress it up to make sure that it looks okay. And, and we're moving that conversation to our website because that's the one place that, that uh, well, currently it can't, it can't be corrupted. But in the social media aspect, they can block who you talk to. They can, they're now, we got a 24, when they upgraded the system, we got a 24 hour ban in our, on our DMs, which is really weird. It's from something that happened previous, like we're talking maybe years ago. Yep, I have AI crawling and, and turning videos off on YouTube from uh, 12 years ago. I had, a, I had a video turned off from 12 years ago where one of my subjects was complaining about the flu shot being a waste of time and money and that flu shots weren't effective. And, and she, she did this episode 12 years ago and sorry, you're against YouTube services. We got to take down this video from 12 years ago. Fine. But I was like, man, the, the AI is crawling through the entire history of the content. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. So, you know, this is where, and we've been going to this year's our, our year. The reason why I believe travel is to be in person. Um, and so our network, we, we built our entire worldwide network online. And now we're pushing everybody together. So all of you out there, all that army of people of you guys out there right now starting to meet in cities. Because the other thing that's gonna happen in, in the next 18 months is the price of shipping is going to triple. And I believe when that. When that happens, guess, guess what happens? Guess, that's, the, that's the death of small business overnight. Interesting. Because what Versus happened, Amazon, has Amazon came in and got it all, made shipping free or irrelevant. And then, and then they had the logistics control it. Now the third party shipping costs are gonna go skyrocket. Like literally they already are. And as that happens, um, the average small person, all these good vendors and stuff like that, they're not gonna be able to ship. So we've been working for two years on getting our local network. So we ship to one place. Listen, I started my, I started my, I made my first million dollars, actually not in that. Yeah, no, I made my second million dollars in Amway. And they used to ship a box a box of soap to me literally boxes of soap to me i break them down in my garage everybody would come pick them up we're ready to do that all over the world right now funny how a little tangent life turned out to be necessary later yeah yeah you know like amway and i mean you basically are running your own amway in a way yeah, here. You did. uh sans, sans their craziness of course yeah, that's that's uh, interesting yeah i do think it's time to think in those terms i do think it'll be messy for a while um, uh, but I do feel like we're going to be okay. I feel like everything, uh, I feel like everything turns out. I, I, my, my guys have always been very clear. The light wins yeah. this time. You yeah. Know? I've been, I've been more than okay. I, it's like, I feel acceleration, growth, expansion in everything that we're doing. We, uh, we went from, uh, building a piece of building on a piece of land here to, we're going to speed it up. We're going to go, we have a bunch of donors, um, people that are in our community. <clears throat> we're going to, we're going to buy a property somewhere in Mexico, uh, with a hundred units on it. And, just, just so, because we want to put the people that are creating this and helping people, we want to put them in one spot. Like we get so much done because we live together, work together. I mean, it's like, it's what we talk about during dinner. It's what we talk about. We go to the beach in the morning. Yeah. It's like all that stuff that normally slows down a business. That's how we built this whole network so fast is living together, working together. Now imagine a hundred people doing that. Yeah. It's going to be great. Uh, I think uh, having come from Mexico, I like Mexico. I think it's just going to be a safe place. Yeah um in the world of things get shifty and i and i kind of realized you know things move so slow in mexico i think it even probably annoys the cabal <laughs> they're like oh, fuck it, mexico. <laughs> yeah. we can't we can't get any evil done there it's taking weeks yeah. let's focus on a country where we can get evil done faster <laughs> yeah you know it, it is funny and it's also funny because um when you know people and you're local which we have we're all we have you know we're we're half inbred with local so everything happens fast if you know somebody you don't know somebody, it, it just drags on everything. Yeah, that's true. It is all who you know. It's always my cousin. I've got a cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I know a so, cousin. He can help you. <laughs> so what does this week look like? Okay, so today feels interdimensional, spacey. I can feel the decision. I don't know what my decision is because I, I feel like I've made all the decisions. Um, oh, by the way, it's funny. Jordan, my son. He his uh, Saturn return ended last night. Oh, well, congratulations! So, what's his Saturn? His Saturn would be 
What degree is it? I'm looking to see where it's, I don't have it with me right now. Where is Saturn right now? Saturn's at seven, six? Six. Maybe, oh, is it six? 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 Oh, I think it's five, five. actually. I think, yeah. it, I think it's Saturn is five because I think it had to do with his yeah. mindset. If that would make sense. He has a lot of net fives in his chart, if I remember he, correctly. He does. Yeah. 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 So that's great. Congratulations to him. Tell him, you know, it's a major benchmark. Um, I think this this week is the launch of the new era and we're leaving. And what that means is you're leaving power for power's sake. So the real filter is to 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 commit to the parts that your heart wants and to to not commit to things your ego thinks you need you know, for power's sake. So it's the real, this is the real shift of power, which I think for most people watching means you're going to go ahead and start the insane thing that everyone thinks you shouldn't start, you know, like, um, because your heart wants it, your heart feels like you're there. So I think, I do think we, we launch whatever that is. And remember launch isn't always literal. It's, it's also, once you decide and you commit, you you turn away from all of the inner conscious debate is, is this right? Should I do this? Can I afford this? So, you know, sometimes moving forward is simply ending the contrary conversation inside of you. And once that contrary is gone, boom, things start manifesting really quickly. I, I think I, res I resonate with that because it feels like there's no more conversation in my head. Like I just, I just know what it is and, and I'm not seeking new information. Yes. I feel the same as well. And, you know, for me, there's some literals, like we'll commit to this live event. Probably will there'll be a lot of commitments of this year that I'm, I'm finally in a place where I can say, okay, we're going to do this. Whereas up until this week, I was like, well, let's see, let's see, let's see, right. let's see. Now I really do feel like, no, it's a green light. Let's do it. You know? Uh, so I think there's no holding back. And I think with the earth and cancer, we're emotionally going, I want to feel this way. That's the thing about uh, Capricorn is it's it's opposite is the moon in Cancer is, is Cancer. So the way we navigate in consciousness, another thing Alicia Powers talked about is the way you navigate in consciousness is a feeling. That's the only way you know you're going the right direction. The feeling turns into a thought a couple steps later, right. but it always starts as a feeling. So really when we say we're devoting ourselves to uh, the launch, we're saying I want to aim for this feeling right here. Um, this is the feeling I want every day in my life. This is the feeling I want at work. This is the feeling I want amongst my peers. This is the feeling I want in my country. So, you know, um, so it's, it's, uh, it's not precise in a mental perspective, but it's precise in a vibrational feeling. Perspective. Yeah. Fair, fair statement. I, I, I completely feel yeah. that. Yeah. Today, the sun is going to sextile Neptune tonight. So tonight we really do um, set the, the, the destiny path of what you are destined to do. And that timeline, as far as how long that takes to unfold, I don't know. Where I, I, where I am today, I saw 12 years ago. And 12 years ago, I thought it was next year. <laughs> and here I am 12 years, I'm like, oh. If you know, like, actually, when you and I met, I thought we'd be here in a year. <laughs> oh, wow, interesting. You know, like, uh, so, so what I'm seeing now, I'm not sure how far out I'm seeing, but I, I believe it's gonna be where I go. There's no question in my heart, this direction I'm heading. So for sure. Uh, so today, uh, so tomorrow is a decide day. So and part of that decision could be no longer having the opposite, the the what ifs the I think I might do this. And then that's tomorrow. And that's Tuesday, and then Wednesday, what does Wednesday look like? Because Wednesday should be acting on something. Yeah, Wednesday, well, Wednesday, we wake up to the commitment. So you make up going, Okay, I'm committed. Now, what do I do? And so there's some, you know, Wednesday to Thursday, you want to put into motion your plan somehow. Uh, so that means you want to, you want to spend some money, you want to get a domain name, you want to, you want to put it into motion symbolically, you have to take an action. And, um, and in many cases, this is a second stage booster. So I think really the mission started with the new moon last Thursday, yeah. which was, um, which was a touchy new moon it was irritable new moon I yeah found. i found that um, it was it was grumpy grouchy new moon um irritable uncomfortable you know not in my really between worlds so you might have already started and this is where you kick it in the gear and it's like the second stage booster so you're gonna move forward so wednesday thursday you want to take action and then friday um and then after after that booster you sort of ride the consciousness because this weekend since we won't talk before then on camera 
uh, the sun and Pluto conjoin uh, on Saturday, and then basically Pluto moves to Aquarius, and then the sun follows Pluto and Aquarius to zero degrees. So, uh, and I do believe that because of the conjunction, we leave behind. Last year we had Pluto move to Aquarius, and Pluto basically just cracked the foundation. You could say to the new era, yeah. like you know, basically, if you look at it as like a stone door in the way to enlightenment. This year, I think it all blows away, and I feel like Aquarius this year is going to be really strange, um, which begins this really begins Saturday night. So Saturday night, we're you're, it's ground control to Major Tom <laughs> is the song that keeps coming ahead. We're just sort of just sort of floating, and you know, and we're going to stay floating. I think we stay ethereal and strange until April, from what I can tell. It, it stays just out of body, multi dimensional, blinking in and out. I think of different timelines uh, between now and April. So, uh, so navigating that, that's, this is where she was saying, it just comes back to that, knowing what that feeling feels like and knowing if that feeling is aligned with your overall perspective. That's the way to na navigate, you know, you go, okay. And things will feel weird. Well, how do I want to feel? So really you could say you're committing to a feeling that you want to make real. And that yes. is your compass for all year. You know, that feeling gets disturbed in July and, and ship does hit the fan in July. So June to July, and I said that in my countdown, uh, that's when things get really strange. It looks like that's when you have the first real, uh, uh, right hook for right. power, probably, you know, because yeah. the earth will be in Capricorn. And so I think at that point, I think we're actually free to fly right now. And I say, get as much ground and territory and acreage as you can between now and June, because the powers that be that don't want things moving forward will only wake up and start pulling back come July. Right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, I, that's what it feels like too. That's why it feels like this big desire. Like one of the things was, is that we, we were gonna build a place and then we decided, no, we need to bring people together faster. So let's go to a place that already exists Let's convert it to our, our needs. Um, and and mm. that was one of the decisions, but that the idea is to be, is to be in, in and moving there by the summer. That makes sense. And where's that going to be in Mexico? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I'm open to other places. I'm not, I mean, we're, we're completely open, but the way, it, the way it tends to work is we have people that, that are contributors that want to contribute because we're, you know, this could be a couple million dollars and and we may have somebody who want who has a place that they want to contribute in, so we're open we're open to that too. Um, and you know, because the the people think that the uh, the travel the resort business it's going to be decimated along with the real estate business <clears throat> by the fall, decimated. And um, and and the reason why is that interest rates are going up, people spending uh, Americans no longer have equity. So they're, they can't keep putting stuff on credit anymore. So spending is, is starting to skyrocket down already. Interest rates are going up. Um, uh, people, the prices of uh, Airbnb is going to have a market collapse itself. Um, they did some strange stuff in parts of Canada, like in British Columbia. They, it's now illegal to rent your house on an Airbnb. It's $50,000 fine per event. What? So, yeah, yeah, you know what that's gonna cause. That's I gonna cause a market collapse. You're yeah, telling me what to do with my house? Forty percent of of the inventory of houses and and apartments in Vancouver are meant for that seasonal splurge. So you know what that's gonna do? It's gonna it's gonna plummet the market. Airbnb has got its own thing. So all these people over the last couple of years that I'm never gonna get in another one of those problems with the mortgage things again. And they've got like five Airbnbs now, and and uh, and it's it's just a it's it's literally a duplicate of what happened in two thousand and eight. Wow, huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to be smart. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because yeah, two thousand and eight we had four years all the way to two thousand twelve. That's when it started, and then it, it peaked, and there were people who really felt it. They felt it in oh eight, but but. By 2012, the, the world had adjusted, right? And now we're a Jupiter cycle, one story, we're 2024. We're going into the same story. Basically, we're going into, the two, we're, we're 2011 going into the 2012 right now. So what did it feel like in 2011? Well, 
it felt like there's this new world opening up. Didn't know what it was. Kind of freaked everybody out. It felt like um, there was pressure on the financial systems and on the governments and on regulators. I mean, we're just here again. It's that this one's bigger. Yeah. I mean, actually, thinking back to 2012, that's when Jupiter was last in Gemini. And I remember there was a lot of static at that Wiki time. Um, a lot of noise. Wiki a lot of noise. Wikilinks. Yeah. All the yeah, frauds the whole, were exposed. The Mayan shift that the world's going to end. There was a lot of panic, yeah. you know, kind of like over, overblown. Um, yeah, it was an interesting, it was an interesting moment. Um, and I remember Obama having a lot of trouble in that year, but I can't remember what for. But yeah. um, maybe it's it was, Mike. It, yeah, maybe it's Mike. Mike gets a little moody when Jupiter goes into Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to look yeah. at Mike's chart and see where that is. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, 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 if you wrap it up, it feels like the same ball of wax. It feels like we're going into the same thing. They, they, it was a but revelation. We're awake. Of but we're yes. awake. Yeah, yeah we, we're, we're not going what now. happened. Because back then it was like, oh, my God, how could this possibly be? We're 12 years later, and most people have never even seen what WikiLeaks published. Yeah. And it's all That's available true. online for free. And the truth of the matter is, is that the world is on neighborhood watch now. Yeah. Like, you, you know, uh, we have uh, we have w awoken, you know, uh, since really Trump, I think, was what made everyone st sit up straight and look at reality differently for whatever reason. Um, and so now we're looking for the next con. Yeah. You know, we're, we're looking <laughs> for it. We're not it's not going to hit it. Nothing will hit us by surprise unless it's very clever. and We haven't thought of that. Yeah, I don't you know. I don't I think I think it's all the different variables are already out there, like menu options. I, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like there's going to be a number of things happen at once, and people are going to subscribe to their version of whatever that is, and then go into that that oscillation of whatever that is. And I mean, because you know, aliens come. Who freaking cares? I mean, it's like, well, it financial system uh, collapses. Well, who cares? I mean, there's but some people are going to care. Some people are going to, they spent their whole life thinking about those one items. Like I grew up, uh, like in the movie Terminator, John Connor, you know, Sarah Connor, that was my mom. Literally. It's like, oh, that's interesting. Like, uh, here's the guns. Here's the money. Here's when my mom, when my mom passed away. She had like, uh, in her little one bedroom apartment with zero security, she had like a million dollars worth of gold and coins and shit like that. And, wow. and nobody knew, nobody knew. And she's like prepared. It's like here's your earthquake preparedness kit. Here's your this. Here's your money. Here's your bank thing. Here's your. I grew up like that my entire life. So wow. So there's some people that are gonna they're gonna live in that because that that part of their energy has to come out of them. It's been baked into them. Some people are gonna live in the alien thing, and and it feels like a bunch of them are gonna come at once. That's that's what it feels like. Most likely, I think you fire everything. It the threat is so grand at this point as far as the next era you fire everything you got <laughs> yeah you know you don't you don't go with one a silver bullet bless you so yeah so um from a um from a standpoint like we are launching right now so somebody who's out there who's new who hasn't really heard doesn't really understand astrology yet they i first of all go get the app serious joy go to our website uh go under products Go to partners, get serious joy, sign up for four bucks. If it doesn't resonate with you, you know, you can you can give it up, but yep. I'm sure it will. So get in there that help understand how to guide their day. But when but now we want to give these people like over the next week or two, uh, we want to give them the best way to launch whatever it is they're launching. And and what would that look like for somebody? That looks like it's time to go. I mean, you really have to build the world you want to see. So you know, the only way it's going to be, it's time to diverge off of the way you're being told to do things and, and follow your heart and follow your feelings and instincts. So to go ahead and go off road. So, <laughs> so in other words, um, develop a relationship to trust your feelings and your instincts rather than your old habits and your brain and what you know. And realize that you're going to fight your old, your old uh, path for a few minutes inside yourself. So in fact, we were just, it looks like, um, March 1st is when the new inner you has transformed. 
So you are half in one world, half in another, and we're sort of in that half and half all through Aquarius. That's why it's going to feel funky, which in a practical sense means you know what? I'm going to go start my own company. I don't care about the economy. Damn it. I don't care about the threats that are being posed. I don't care about the stock market on, on edge. I don't care about the dollar collapsing. I'm going to start my own company. I'm going to do it. I'm ready. Yes. And the next day it's like, am I fucking crazy? What am I thinking? I, so, so I think you have to fight yourself a little bit where, you know, it's constantly giving power to the new voice, letting go of the old voice, forgiving the old, letting the old go. That is sort of uh, the, the work, if you want to call it spiritual right. work, that we have to do until March 1st, from what I can tell. March yeah, 1st. March 1st, you go into March with a new a new inner conviction. That, that makes sense. In fact, and one thing that's going to happen is a lot of people will not be there for you. So a lot of soul contracts are ending with this, um, just for the record. So this isn't a time where you have to necessarily say loyal for loyal's sake. I'm not saying being disloyal, but do not give up something you want for someone else right now. Do not. Do not give up something you want for someone else right now. That would be a big mistake, I think. Yeah. Um, where in the past, you go, oh, I'll be fine. I can deal. I can limp around. Not this time. Uh, I think the hardest, hard, hard, hardest part's going to be is that if you're really a light worker like we are and you love everybody, that some people are not going to be on that new path with you. But there's a bunch of cool people who who vibe with you where you're going, so don't worry. It's going to be okay. I feel that. I mean, I can yeah, I can see the writing on the wall. Even like I, knowing that it's coming, I can see people's actions or the way they're aligning themselves. Like they're starting to sight their guns in at something that I I just know is not gonna not gonna work. And usually, yeah. usually I can tell because of the way they talk. It's like I can't do this anymore. I fear this. What about this? If they're still in fear, anger, doubt, shame, guilt, sadness. <clears throat> they have a very short window to come out of that, I feel like. And if they're not out of that, right now, the law of attraction is in action. And and we are manifesting our thoughts in real freaking time. Yes. So if we're thinking nasty thoughts, then we're getting nasty results from the universe in real time. Like like showing up, like I think in the morning and I got it as soon as I walk out the door. That's a that's a byproduct of the quickening. So as, as we vibrate faster and let go of the low, or stuff we manifest faster um so it, it turns into instant manifestation so the the higher and lighter you go so most of the coaching i'm giving to our subscribers is it's not even about trying to go higher it's about cutting the dead weight yeah it's like let the sandbags over the hot air balloon let them go and and a lot of those sandbags are you opting into the fight so the other thing is um fine you won like yeah. I, i've been one of my key phrases is no thank you this year is like, you're going to say more no thank you. Thank you out of courtesy and to close the karma. The reason why I say thank you is you don't want one lingering pissed off anything, but you just opt out of that fight, opt out of fine. You're right. No, thank you. Yes, you're right. I, I agree. You just let go of the fight because the fight is actually what's holding most people down. I'll, yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you one yeah. day. You just said, I'm going to stay stuck at this level till I can show you. And of course, I'll never let you see them show you. <laughs> like, so you'll be calling that forever kind of thing. So I think opting out. What I kind of get a feeling is what would, you know, if you want to scare the powers that be more than anything, go quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go quiet. Show no yeah. reaction. Let them yeah. guess. Let their own imagination fill in that blank. Um, I think that's the greatest power we have in this transition between now and March. We're talking the first quarter, basically. So uh, coming into, I mean, coming up through the end of this week, uh, lots of lots of lots of stuff's going to start seeding up because we're coming up to the final elements of control. Then we're going into this weird Aquarius. This weird Aquarius is it. It feels like people that like like Aquarians were always contrarians, but now the yes. whole, whole world is a contrarian. Yes. And the Aquariuses are like the Kumbayas. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 an upside down world. It's yeah. very doctor. It's very Doctor Seuss. You know, like I, um, I actually and I actually feel and predict that there are new superpowers. So this twenty eight day reset is really appropriate this timing, Gary, because and that's why I'm trying to get as many on my staff to do it is because I really think once you let go of this bottom stuff. Uh, that there are new powers available. I, I predict people are going to see auras. Mm -hmm. I predict people are going to see through space time. 
I think third eye opening is going to happen big time. So there's a lot of special effects yeah. <laughs> that I think are going to start to birth in Aquarius this year. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was, that's what I was getting at. I think, I think uh, the people who have been working hard are going to see things in Aquarius. The challenge is, is it's kind of like um, when you're watching Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's like all of a sudden there's a big stressor and then they find out they have a superpower. And, and it, so it takes us doing stuff. It takes us experimenting, getting out there and doing stuff to find out what the superpowers are. But when our systems are clogged, that's what's clogging our superpowers. That's why the reset's so powerful. Yeah. That's what, you know, you can literally see people coming through it. Yeah, that's tremendous. And the, the question of, am I sick? As soon as you ask that, you open the door to be sick, you know? So it's like, I think, you know, having chemicals in our food, having radiation hit us, it makes us have symptoms. Then we start to think, well, do I have a disease? Then once you think that, then you start to have a yeah. disease. That's what I was going to mention. Um, so what we're noticing happening in people's physiological bodies is old things are coming up to stimulate old fears. Like they had a cancer. It's been in remission or it's gone away for 20 years. They have something come up that feels like, looks like it again. And they have a choice. I go into the fear. Oh, it's cancer. It's this. It's that. I go to the doctors. I get it. Or they have other choices that, no, that's not the way it is. I'm moving towards a successful uh, new life. I'm taking care of my body. My body can heal. And I'm seeing that in, in droves in people right now. Like, I, I, I don't. I don't think anybody even has a scope of what it is. I'd say two thirds of the population is doing dealing with a, a object physical issue right now that they're not sharing with anybody else. Hmm. It's certainly happening in my consciousness is in a non body form. Uh, everything is coming up for dismissal. Yeah. So every fear you have, I'm hearing from ex girlfriends, like everything from the past is like saying, you sure you don't want to do it again? <laughs> so that, you know, and at, at first you're like, Oh no, it's happening again, but, but then you realize, oh, this is an event to say, hell no, it's happening again. Hmm. You know, so it ends up closing that door and slamming it forever. I, I see the same in our, our community. So we say you have an incident and then normally we spin down, like my body's never going to be the same. And I keep these belief systems. I can't get healthier. I'm getting older. Then as we hit the bottom, whatever that bottom is, we start coming back up, but we hit those same points. And those points are reflections in which we get to tell a new story about what what it is and the what it is this time is it's coming up to remind you that it was there and saying goodbye on the door out unless you did unless you dig into it and go oh i'm sick again and then you go right back into it you want to yeah take another round i do think you know and that's a fair statement to say um you know be on alert everything that's haunted you in your whole life yeah may be up for dismissal yes yeah that's must, what's i have to dismiss it yeah <laughs> Between even now physical and things, in the pie. even physical, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, when I would say one hundred percent physical, the physical is what I can almost guarantee. Yeah, because it's yeah. the it's the slowest lowest vibration is is uh, density. Yeah, yeah. So the density stuff will absolutely happen, yeah. you know, without question. And then the other stuff might just be hints or sniffs of it. But it, it's an exciting time. It is an exciting time, and I'm excited to talk next week because we're going to come through the twenty nine degree on Saturday. And we got our 29, 29 degree meeting. And um, and then I yes. then by the time we talk, it'll be uh, zero, one degree, it'll be one degree Aquarius. It should feel like we are in a new planet. It, yeah, or or between the planets. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be between. I think, I think it's going to be in between. It's going to be a paradox. You know, paradox is actually the door between realities. You are and you aren't at the same time. So I feel like Aquarius will be yes and no at yeah. the same time. The answer is that. yes and no. When is your platform, your next iteration of your platform coming out? Do you have, well, we, have we did, a date on that? We brought it out. It's um, um, So what we've been doing is we've, we've brought out the platform. That's what the resets now on the new platform. Um, oh, okay. It'll be in the app store shortly in about six weeks. Okay. Um, in addition to that, um, what we're doing is we've got the global reset where the global reset works. It, it it allows us to um, uh, it allows everybody to go through at the same time, so they start supporting each other more. The in person things are coming. Um, the the biggest changes is, is coming this year is we we didn't get in this for a business. We got in this to live our lives and help other people. So we're we're like having people this these live broadcasts 
are going to be run by other people in different categories because what we're doing is we're going to extend our reach into the into the millions listening on a, on a regular basis this year and that's what i believe is is the launching that's what we're hitting up uh in may mm, fun i'm excited yeah well we'll have to coordinate well reach out i don't know what your day's like but reach out to me later today man yeah i will i'll give you a shot later yeah. on thanks chris and let's let's compare notes thank you much love to everyone be good till next week enjoy the flight <laughs> take care <laughs> all right job for now if you haven't done it yet uh go to our uh go to our webpage go to our products and go to our partners and sign up for serious joe you can try it for three dollars and 99 cents for the first month it gives you a daily forecast so you get to hear chris's forecast on each each and every day and how to navigate the day, but it gives you seven messages that are unique to your astrology on a daily basis. Super powerful. I live by this app. It has been the fundamental turning point in me understanding how astrology works with me so that it is a tool that I use every day. Otherwise, it's just something that somebody reminds me of when I talk about it. So it's, it's thinking uh, and putting it in. So make sure you sign up there. And uh, if you're in New York, we have a class tonight class in New York tonight. Make sure you get out there. Go to the link in our bio, sign up uh, on our web page, sorry, web page under events. Sign up for our New York class and uh, we'll have a weekly class there. And if you're in New York and you're on the 28 day reset, you don't have your supplements yet. Guess where you can get them? You can get them at the New York class. Discounted. Okay. See you guys all tomorrow. Thank you.